thank you for joining us for another story time at the Fond du Lac Public Library. Now, before we get started with today's stories and songs, I need you to help me do some stretches. Get those fingers and make them touch the ceiling. Good. Can you make them touch the floor? Go down. All right. And now I want you to point your fingers that way. And we're gonna wave our fingers and then move them on the other side. Nice job, thank you guys. Now bring those arms in the middle and I want you to stretch them out as far as you can. And then give yourself a big hug with those. Nice job. All right, we can sing our welcome song now. I think we are ready. Did you bring your hands? I did. My hands are working. Are your hands? Clap them together. Good. And can your hands wave? Nice. What about your feet? Did you bring your feet today? Show me your feet. Yay! And do your feet work? Can you stop? Oh, sounds good. Okay, now I think we're ready. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Hello, everyone. High fives. Nice job. Now, before we get started, I want to remind everyone of the five practices in early literacy. They are singing, talking, reading, writing, and playing. Today, I want to talk about singing. <sighs> singing slows down language so kids can hear songs and syllables. Sing songs that you both know or just make one up as you go along. Singing is just fun. All right, and we can practice by singing our ABCs. Ready? Stand up straight and tall. <clears throat> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Nice job, everyone. Give yourself a pat on the back. That was great. All right, now we can get started. Do you have any guesses what our story time is going to be about today? I'll give you a clue. It's about a place that you visit, probably in the summer. Oh, I always wear my sunglasses, but these are a little small, aren't they? Actually, I think that this is one of the prizes for summer reading. Let's see, I brought, oh, here are my sunglasses. These fit better, right? I wear my sunglasses, so we must be talking about a place outside. And, ooh, do you know what this is? This is called a lei. It's a very special flower necklace. And sometimes you might see people wear these at the beach. Today we're talking about the beach. All right, if you like the beach, show me how you can swim. Good, I like the beach too. And actually, I would like to teach you the sign for beach. It's really pretty simple. We need to take your two hands and we're gonna put them up like this. And then we're going to Kind of go down. We're going to make waves with our hands. This way our sign looks like waves rolling across the ocean. 
This is the sign for beach. We're going to talk about the beach today. Okay, are you ready? Let's see. Grab my book. The first book that I would like to read to you is called Pig Kahuna, and it's by Jennifer Sattler. Whoops. Pig Kahuna. Oh, look at that. I see a lot of seashells. Maybe a shovel for when you play in the sand. All right. It was Saturday. Fergus and his baby brother, Dink, were collecting treasures. What kind of treasures are they collecting? Looks like seaweed to me. But I see they're at the beach. The waves would roll in, leave something for their collection, and roll back out again. It worked quite nicely, as long as Fergus didn't have to go in the water. Ooh, yeah, he doesn't look like he likes the water. He knew there was more than just treasure in that water. There was a lurking, murky ickiness. Oh, I think he's talking about all these crazy fish that live in the water. So far that day, Fergus and Dink had collected some seaweed, a pebble that kind of looked like an eyeball, and a shell that might actually be a shark's tooth. And then, what is this? Do you know what that is? That's a surfboard. Do you know what a surfboard is? You stand on it on the water and then you can surf. You have to kind of balance. So we can pretend that we are standing on a surfboard and we're going to turn and we're gonna use our hands to help us balance. And then we lean our body so we can turn. Can you do that? Can you surf? Nice job! Let's see what Fergus and Dink do with their surfboard. They waited 15 whole minutes, but nobody came to claim the surfboard. So they decided to make it the star of their collection. Of course, surfing on it was out of the question because of the lurking, murky, ickiness factor of the water. Hmm, then what are you going to do with a surfboard if you don't surf on it? So they found other, drier uses for it. It looks like they're kind of pretending to surf like we were doing. And even Dink has some water to throw on them. And then it looks like maybe they're pretending the surfboard is a boat and the shovel is their paddle. That's kind of fun. And then look over here. It looks to me like they use their pebble that looks like an eyeball. They use their possible shark tooth seashell and their seaweed. And they made the surfboard into a person and they named it Dave. Dave was a loyal companion. Stay, good boy. After a while, Fergus offered to get some ice cream. Chunky, chocolate, Chattanooga, choo-choo chip. Right, Dink? Ooh, that does sound good. And it looks like Dink's giving the thumbs up. Can you give the thumbs up? Yeah. Dink looked long and hard at Dave. He seemed to have lost his shine. You miss the ocean, huh, big fella? You should be wild and free! Uh-oh, here comes Fergus with their ice cream. But what will Dink do? Oh no! 
And Fergus yells, Dave! And he drops the ice cream. Fergus ran into the water and furiously swam out to save Dave. Dink said, bon voyage. Oh, don't worry, little buddy, he whispered. Hey, it kind of looks like he could be surfing out there. Oh, I've got you. No sooner had the words left Fergus's mouth that he felt Dave rise up beneath him. Oh no, he's on top of a big wave. Let's follow him. Whoa! What is Fergus doing? He's surfing! Fergus, said Dink, you surfed. I surfed! Fergus and Dink kept their eyes peeled for more treasures. And boy, did they find one. So what did they end up doing? They both learned how to surf, right? And they found another seashell treasure. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad that Fergus and Dink decided not to be so scared and they tried surfing at the beach. Can you show me beach again with the waves? Nice job. Okay, I want to sing a fun song with you, but I need your help with the dance moves. Now, this is kind of a different song about things at the beach. So what are some things you might see at the beach? Hmm. Do you know what a crab is? You might see a crab at the beach, depending on where your beach is. So we have to learn how to walk like a crab. That means you get down on the floor and you walk on your like feet and your hands. Okay, so we have to get down on the floor and walk like this, just like a crab. Good. One of the other things we have to do is we need to hula dance. So you're gonna stand up straight and tall and you are going to put your arms out like this and hula dance. Now the other side, nice job. And oh, have you ever seen a palm tree at the beach? Or I guess any tree would work because we see lots of trees at the beach and they sway in the wind. Nice job, I think we're ready. Hmm, I think actually I'm going to put my lay on for our hula song and we can get started. All right. Can you be a crab? We need to be a crab.
like that song. I think that song is very silly. Awesome. Okay, now I have a fun felt board game for us that involves a mermaid. I promise there is a mermaid here somewhere and we are going to find her. Have you ever seen a mermaid at the beach? Well, we are going to look here in my felt board ocean and I think she might be hiding behind something. I have some seaweed, a seashell, some coral, some rocks, a treasure chest, and a sunken ship. Now, I wonder where our mermaid is hiding. Where should I look first? I think I'm going to start with the seashell. Do you remember where that is? Right here. We're going to say, mermaid, come out. Can you help me? Mermaid, come out. Here she is. You might not be able to see that, but it's not a mermaid. It is a little itty bitty fish swimming along. Not a mermaid. Rats, we're going to have to keep looking. I will look, ooh, do you think mermaids like to hide in the seaweed? I will look behind the seaweed. We have to shout, mermaid, come out. Let's see. Oh, that's not a mermaid either. This is a very teeny, tiny seahorse. Cute, but not a mermaid. We will try again, maybe behind. Do you think mermaids hide behind sunken treasure chests? Let's check. Mermaid, come out. Here she is, and I bet she's beautiful. That is not a mermaid. Do you know what this is? A shark! Everybody scream and run out of the water. We do not want to get scared by that shark again. Let's check behind these rocks for our mermaid. Ready? Mermaid, come out! Here she is. Oh, our mermaid's green. No. What is this animal? A sea turtle. I like sea turtles, but not as much as I like mermaids. We'll try again. Looks like I have two spots where she might be hiding. Let's check behind the coral. Mermaid, come out! Oh, well that's not a mermaid, but I do like these animals. It's a dolphin. And do you know that dolphins can talk? They don't talk like we do. They talk with their tongues. They click like this. Can you try that? Nice. Okay, the mermaid must be hiding here behind the sunken ship, which totally makes sense because it's lots of room for a mermaid to swim. Ready? Mermaid, come out! Here she is. Oh, I hope she likes us. Is that the mermaid? No. This is a big giant whale. Oh, shoot. I'm really sorry. I thought I had a mermaid here and I wanted to show you. And she's so friendly and she's like the nicest, sweetest mermaid ever. And tricks and some dances and she's saying hi story time friends okay this book is called choose day at the beach 
and it is by Neil Gaiman and Adam Rex. Oh, and it looks like Chu's ready to have some fun. He's got his floaties. Tuesday at the beach. When Chu sneezed, big things happened. It was a hot day and Chu and his family went to the beach. Oh, it looks like fun. I see a lot of different families there. Chu had an ice cream. The ice cream seller was very nice. She gave Chu an extra scoop of vanilla. Oh, and I see sprinkles too. He's lucky. Chu said hello to a crab in a rock pool. Chu's mother sat on the sand and read her book. Chu's father went into the water up to his tummy. Chu took off his sunglasses. He looked at the sea. The day was so sunny and bright and Chu's nose tickled. Uh-oh, it was a tickling that got bigger and bigger and bigger. It was a tickling that filled his whole head. So I need you to twitch your nose and you're gonna help me sneeze. Ah, 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 choo! Whoa! Uh-oh, said Chu. Chu, said Chu's mother. Chu, said Chu's father. What did you do? All the people on the beach went down to look. What happened when Chu sneezed? Oh, he separated the water. Wow. Chu said hello to some fish and the fish looked at him. They looked kind of sad. He waved at a family of mer pandas. The littlest mer panda waved back at him. Oh, I wonder if they're friends with their mermaid. Chu saw a whale. The whale was very big. Hmm, with the sea broken, I cannot go home, said the whale. Oh, they do all kind of look sad. You must put this back the way it was, said the ice cream seller, or nobody will come to the beach anymore and they will not eat my ice cream. Please sneeze again, Chu. But Chu could not sneeze. A seagull tickled Chu's nose with a feather. Will you sneeze? said the seagull. Do you think that'll help? Okay, I need you to help me. Chu said, huh? Huh? Ah, no, said Chu. Hmm. So that didn't help. Perhaps a bubbly drink will make you sneeze, said the ice cream seller. She gave Chu a fizzy drink with bubbles that went up Chu's nose. Please sneeze again, Chu. Will you sneeze now? Do you think that'll help? Okay, I need you to help me sneeze. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no, said Chu. All of the grown-ups were very sad. Chu will not sneeze, they said. Now the sea is broken and we cannot fix it. Then Tiny the snail climbed up to Chu's ear and whispered, sometimes I sneeze when I see the sun. So Chu took off his sunglasses. Do you think that helped? I think that helped. Whoa! There, said Chu. Everything is back just as it was before. Well, kind of. <laughs> the ice cream seller was so pleased she gave Chu another ice cream. 
In the sea, Chu saw a mer panda just his size. She swam over to him. Sometimes I sneeze too, she said, and then she swam away. Did you have a nice day at the beach? asked Chu's mother and father. I had the best day at the beach, said Chu, holding his seagull feather. Good night. Oh, I like that story. And it's fun to read, right? Okay, guess what? It is about time to end our story time. So first we can sing Zoom, 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 and then we'll do our goodbye song. Okay, I'm gonna move our felt board ocean over so I have lots of room. And when we do Zoom, 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 we're going to pat our legs. Ready? Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll be there very soon. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! All right, now we're gonna start way, way, way down and do it again, very quietly. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll be there very soon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Nice job! All right, we are going to tickle the clouds and tickle your toes. Clap your hands and tickle your nose. Reach down low and reach up high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends.